for. Now a story you're seeing only on News 4 tonight. This is Trooper. The St. Francis County dog made national headlines after being shot, hit with a hammer, and dumped in a ditch. Two years later, the suspect awaits trial. Only News 4's Alexis Zotos is looking into concerns. He may get nothing more than a slap on the wrist. Is that possible, Alexis? Well, Steve, first off, look at these side-by-side -side images from February 2018 until today. It shows a very different dog. Trooper lived next door to the man who was accused of harming him. And while it is legal to shoot a dog in Farmington where the crime occurred, if it threatens you or your property, Jason Hampton is facing a felony charge of animal abuse, which is... Trooper, let's go this way, boy. Trooper is thriving. He's come a long way since he's been in our home. When he was rescued from a ditch in Farmington in February 2018, vets didn't think he would survive the night after being left for dead for weeks. I get asked almost daily when we're on walks. I got asked today, does he have hip dysplasia? And I'm like, no, he was shot. He was abused. A man did this to him and he'll have this consequence the rest of his life. The man accused of shooting and torturing the dog, Jason Hampton, still awaits trial due to legal setbacks. He is free on bond. Now we're on the third prosecutor. Medford Dwight Robbins was appointed special prosecutor in Trooper's case. Karen Runk, who helped rescue the dog, says the courts have offered alternative options for Hampton through the diversion program. They can ask him to sign up for anger management. They did try to get uh, the Humane Society to take him as a volunteer. They didn't want him. Um, so community service, anger management. For Trooper's new family, it's nothing but a slap on the wrist and they want this case to go to trial. When someone admits that they tortured a dog, they should definitely be paid the time for what they've done. I think that if this just gets dropped, what kind of message does that send? Come to Missouri, you can abuse animals, you can neglect them, you can do whatever you want because we don't care. Now, I have reached out to that specially appointed prosecutor for several days with no response. Hampton's attorney also did not return our calls. Now, the canine rescue group has sent letters to the attorney general and the governor's office in hopes that they could get a new special prosecutor appointed. Reporting live, Alexis Zeros, News 4.